a warning as we get into this next story because it has to do with sexual assault. We know that can be triggering for survivors and loved ones, and we want to give you time and space to be able to take care of yourself. This week, we learned a class action lawsuit has been filed against St. Mary's Hospital in Grand Junction and its owner, SCL Health. It accuses a nurse of recording himself sexually assaulting patients who were unconscious. Our 9 News legal analyst Whitney Trailer is here to break this down a little bit more for us. And Whitney, this is a tough case to talk about, so we appreciate you being here with us this morning. I think the first question a lot of people are wondering is, this apparently went on for years, so how could this have happened with nobody finding out? Well, I think that's what makes this so egregious. This was six years, according to the uh, arrest affidavit and some of the allegations in the complaint that it started in 2016 and went until uh, July of this year when another nurse came in and saw this uh, nurse exposed, ha having a patient exposed, taking selfies. And so uh, for six years, that's what really makes this egregious because this person was left alone with a lot of patients. This is how he did right. it. He would, according to the, uh, the allegations, he would go in and actually sedate someone who's already sedated into a deeper uh, sedation and then go ahead and, and do these um, sexual acts that, yeah. that, that are alleged. So the fact that someone could go into a hospital with the expectation to be taken care of and for this to happen, I think completely exacerbates the, the damages in this situation. Yeah, a lot of people really upset about this. Of course, the hospital says, or not the hospital, but there is still an investigation going into the hospital and what exactly happened there, but what charges might the nurse be facing at this time? Well, right now, so the nurse has been arrested, is in jail in Grand Junction, and is facing three counts of sexual assault. Now, the police did get the the phone, and apparently there's about 700,000 pictures, yeah. um, 65,000 hours of video. So they're going through that. They think there may be thousands of victims. So there will be more charges. They're yeah. gonna, you know, as they go through it, I, I would expect there to be more. The civil suit was filed on behalf of just two plaintiffs. It is gonna be a class action though, so they're waiting for more people to actually discover that this is right. happening. So there'll be at least, there'll be more probably sexual assault criminal charges and then there'll be more civil claims which will be a, a variety of torts and other things. Yeah, a totally different ball game there. Let's talk about the players in this. Who is liable in the criminal case? That's a great question and that's really relevant here because what you're talking about is vicarious liability. So that's when you have an employer uh, and someone acting on behalf of the employer. So here, even though the nurse was doing it, there was, according to the complaint, there were video cameras in most hospital rooms have video cameras. So they're saying they should have seen this. And so because the hospital, SCL and, and others, right are responsible for its employees, they are, the, the hospital will also be on the hook. So there's, I think they've named four or five defendants. Now, when it all shakes out, some may get dismissed, but there will be numerous defendants for sure. All right, we just have a few seconds left. I'm curious where we go from here now. I mean, of course, that investigation, like we mentioned, still ongoing, but what can we expect to come out of this? Well, after the investigation, you're going to have more. It, it appears that there's going to be more victims. So there will, I would expect, to be more charges, and I expect there to be uh, this class action to yeah. actually go forward. This is going to be serious litigation because, again, someone going in, this is a person who has control they're completely sedated. I mean, that's yeah. you're you're you can't be any more vulnerable than yeah. that. And for this to happen, uh, you know, the employer, the the hospital is going to be, as it stands now, looks like they'll be very much on the hook. Yeah, absolutely. Well, a lot of details still to come out of this. Unfortunately, really disturbing. Whitney, thank you for breaking that down for us. Good to be here. Let's get a check of your forecast now.